Hello everyone. I am Radhika and in today's video I will share with you constant GM biasing. This is the last topic of this unit analog building block. Hope you have gone through the previous lectures. The transconductance of MOSFET plays a very critical role in analog circuit and we have seen that it determines such performance parameters like noise small signal gain and speed for this reason it is often desirable to bias the transistor such that their transconductance this gm does not depend upon the temperature process or supply voltage so in this section we will take a simple circuit which is used to define the transconductance that is the supply independent bias topology recall in the very beginning we have derived this equation for the bias current uh, for the two transistors we have taken that uh, they they are identical and we have found i out to be equals to 2 upon mu n cox w by l n 1 upon r square bracket 1 minus 1 by root k whole square so from this uh, circuit from uh, we, uh, we have already derived this equation previously and does the transconductance of m1 equals of any uh, transistor equals gm1 is equals to 2 mu n cox w by l n id1 now substituting the value of id1 from this equation in this equation for gm1 we will get gm1 is equals to 2 upon rs 1 minus 1 upon root of k so this value we can see that it is independent of the supply voltage as well as mos device parameter and it is de derived from i out the current equation which is already independent of the supply voltage vdd okay so this gm1 is also independent of the supply voltage and mos device parameters <clears throat> in reality the value of rs in above does not vary with temperature and process if the temperature coefficient of the resistor is known band gap volt reference voltage and ptat reference generation techniques can be utilized to ca cancel this temperature dependence of the resistor as well so we define process variation however limit the accuracy with which gm1 is defined okay now in systems where a pr precise clock frequency is available, available what we can do we can replace this resistor rs by a switched capacitor equivalent to achieve somewhat higher equivalency okay and it is depicted in this figure below that the idea is to establish an average resistance which is equals to 1 upon cs fck where we know f is the frequency of the clock and cs is the capacitor okay and it is applied between the source of m2 and ground capacitor cb is added to shunt the high frequency component which result from switching to down since the absolute value of rays capacitor is typically more tightly controlled since the temperature coefficient of capacitor is much smaller than that of resistor so this technique provides a high reproducibility in the bias current and transconductor so this is basically a circuit which is used for constant gm biasing by means of a switched capacitor resistor so in this case a resistor is replaced by a high frequency capacitor and capacitor we know it is having a very smaller temperature coefficient as compared to a resistor so it provide a higher reproducibility in the bias current as well as transconductance okay where resistance will be given rs will be given in this case by 1 upon cs fck the switched capacitor approach of this figure of 
this figure in the previous case we have taken can be applied to other circuit as well so this is an example which is shown that a voltage to current converter with a relatively higher accuracy can be con con constructed and this also a shunt resistor is connected and a switched capacitor resistor technique is applied they are switched p s1 and s2 uh, controlled by a clock and there is this is the capacitor which is used and uh, this is a voltage to current converter and this is basically a high accuracy because of use of this switched capacitor resistor thank you this is all about constant gm biasing this is under uh, band gap reference voltage under the heading analog building block okay join me in the next uh, uh, video of next unit